So I want to start out this video with a little disclaimer, as usual. Um, this video is in no way a neutral lipstick video. These are lipsticks and lip looks that I will wear in videos, to events. I tend to wear bright lipsticks when I want to be most confident and taken seriously. So these are the lipsticks I've been wearing recently when I want to do such things, and most of which have been showcased in videos in the past already. But for those of you who haven't been watching me for a while or haven't seen them in videos before, I want to just talk about them today. So first off, I'm starting off with the lip color I'm wearing right now. This is called the Inglot Lip Pencil slash Crayon Poreless Leverse. I know I totally butchered that last part, but regardless, if you know the consistency of crayons, you know the consistency of this lip pencil. It does not glide on whatsoever. It's kind of one of those colors you can build and work with. I wore this color recently to a style haul party, or when I went to the IMATS 2012 New York City, I wore it the night of, like so Saturday night, um, I wore this color, and I got so many compliments on it. I think it really complements my skin personally. I have very fair skin and dark hair so this looks really good on me. It kind of reminds me of like Snow White almost like blood red lips or something and right now I'm loving it because it really matches my scarf and it just makes it pop and all that. So I don't know about you guys some people really just hate red lips and I totally get that because there's obviously some trends out there like brown lipstick that I will never begin to understand. I feel like red lips are always in at least in my opinion so I love this lip color and I really like the consistency of this. Some people will probably argue with me and say they don't like the consistency because it doesn't glide on and whatnot, but I like it so it's buildable and it's completely matte. It definitely is very long wearing and I bought this while I was at IMAT so I'm not sure the exact price but I'll list it in the down bar for those of you who are curious about that and it's from Inglot and I've actually never really tried Inglot before this and I'm kind of in love with it already so as you guys can see this is just the beginning of a long obsession with Inglot lipsticks and lip products so I love this. So next is a lip gloss and it's NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream and I actually got this in a past glam bag. One of the first glam bags actually and I saw Mac Barbie 07 use this in a tutorial based on the glam bag, my glam bag, because she's part of the my glam team and whatnot. So I decided to try it out and I actually really, really like it. It's very thick, so you don't want to wear it over a really thick lipstick or else you're going to feel like you have like icing on your lips or something. This is very thick itself, so sometimes I even wear this just on its own, even though it's a gloss. Um, actually, no, it's not even a gloss, is it? It's a lip cream. There's actually a little caption on the bottle, which I'm going to read for you guys. It's not lipstick, nor is it gloss. It's like nothing you've experienced before. It's lipstick cream that goes on silky but looks soft matte. So if you guys have not already noticed the trend in my favorite lip products so far is I like matte things. I don't like ultra shimmery, sticky, glowing, crazy lip colors. I'm not quite sure why I'm drawn to matte lip colors, but I've recently just kind of been obsessed with them. And this is one of them because it feels like a gloss, but it's not, so I like it. Okay, can you give me like 10 minutes? If you guys saw my last favorites video, you guys have seen this lipstick, and it's the Lime Crime lipstick. And first off, I want to comment again on how beautiful and gorgeous and cute this packaging is because this is like my dream packaging. One, because there's a little unicorn on it, but two, it's like my favorite color purple because purple's my favorite color, if you guys don't know that about me. I like lilac purple, and I'm actually um, changing my room up a little bit this summer. Not this room, I'm actually moving rooms because currently this is the biggest bedroom in my house other than my parents' master bedroom. So I decided I wanted to give my 12-year-old sister a taste of having a big room before I go off to college and have to experience sharing a little dorm room with, my, with another roommate or something. So I decided I'm going to give it up. Sometime during the summer I'll be switching rooms with my sister and I'm planning on painting my new room some shade of purple and kind of basing it off Aria's room from Pretty Little Liars and getting some sort of like accent wallpaper. It's going to be really, really pretty. I'm very excited about it, but I decided it was time to say goodbye to my huge, unrealistically large room, so yeah. I'm not really sure how I got onto that tangent of changing rooms and whatnot, but I love this color of packaging. And something else I love is the color that actually comes inside of it. It's this really cool magenta cranberry-ish pink color. Something that sets this lipstick apart from the past two I just showed is that it's more glossy and not as matte, which is something, as I just said, I don't like ultra glossy lipsticks, but this one is definitely an exception because of the beautiful color. I wore this exact lipstick in a couple of videos ago, so if you guys want to see how it actually looks on the lips, go check out that video. But um, I actually was informed by a bunch of you guys that this is only $15 or $16. It's not like $50 like I thought it was. And the consistency is awesome. Not like a matte lipstick, but it's not too glossy to the point that you feel like you're wearing like 
I don't know, grossness on your lips. Last but not least, I'm trying to keep this video relatively short, I got this lipstick, which is a Tarte uh, Lip Surgeon's Natural Matte Lip Tint. It's in the shade Lively. It's a little lip pencil. I love lip pencils in general, as you guys can see, and I have so many of them. They're so much more fun to play with than lipsticks because you can build them up or build them down or put gloss over top and whatnot. It's really fun. So I love this one, and this one glides on, unlike the Inglot one. So if you're more of like a glide on lip pencil kind of girl, you guys would definitely like this. It's a really pretty berry color, and it also glides, and it's a little bit more... Um, it still has a matte finish, but it glides on nicely and just feels very light on your lips, but it gives a really great berry color. You look so much more like approachable if you're wearing a nice bright lip color. Like I'm not one who likes nude lips, uh, especially on camera because it just blends into your face and it just does not look very, you know, attractive. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like that. So I am very drawn to berry lips and this is a great, great color for that. And I'm pretty positive you guys can get this at Sephora and it's not too expensive. All of the lip colors I talked about today are mostly high-end other than NYX. NYX is relatively very cheap. These four lip colors are definitely my favorite statement lip colors out there currently. And just keep in mind that my coloring is obviously going to be different than some of yours. Take that into consideration when picking out your lip colors, but these are the four colors that have been working for me recently, so I love these. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'm just on a video making roll, guys, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!